why Buhari should be impeached immediately before the pandemic passes. It is said that with great powers come great responsibilities. And in the case of Nigeria currently, the responsibility of the presidency to its citizens seems to not be the, uh, properly scattered for as outcry from various parts of the nation keeps drawing foreign attention towards the country. The last straw is this current outbreak of COVID-19, which resulted in the compulsory lockdown that was left many Nigerians in a state of poverty and abject suffering. All those who aren't in the federal government patrol have been left to cater for themselves alone. How? When the same government ordered them not to leave their homes, their ability to handle delicate matters with prompt and reassuring actions is very essential of every leader in the country. President Mormon, the President of the United States, Donald Trump, ordered the release of two trillion US dollars economic stimul stimulus package which saw adults received a cash transfer of 1.12 million US dollars and 500 dollars to all their adolescents to keep them survive the harsh economic efforts during this pandemic is unleashing. Nigerian order the administration of Buhari received billions of donations from both citizens and consigned foreign parties. A, con a conditional cash transfer of 20,000 Naira was approved to citizens in certain states. By, w by what, but what we and the condition of that. That anyone who has up to 5,000 in our bank accounts and recharges more than 100 Naira monthly would be, a, a, would be qualified. If I may say, is 5,000 enough to feed a family for five or two weeks? The answer is no. Proper accounts of all spendings related to the fund donated in the Nigerian government should be made available to the press so the citizen would know how accurately the affairs are catered for. We say Nigeria is the giant of Africa, but what is the issue of a giant that cannot cater for the needs of its family? Nigeria has been privileged to experience great presidents like Obasanjo, who helped introduce the use of telephones to Nigeria in 2001 and as well brought modern civilization of our great nation Nigeria. It brought civilization to our great nation Nigeria at large. All also, though Yaradua's stays was cut short due to its untimely death, Omaru Musa Yaradua made a great impact in this nation as well. He, with less also increased the number wage to 19,800 Naira and made um, sure that areas was probably paid to workers and cops, cops member alike. The president, Momodu Buhari regime, after many twos and son managed to increase the minimum wage to 33,000 after close to a year of negotiation and debate, yet refused to pay arrears to corps members. The COVID-19 pandemic has definitely exposed the woes of this current administration, and this issue must be addressed with appropriate measures. Let Nigerians, let's make Nigerians great again after President Momo Dubari leaves the country. Thank you, viewers, for listening to this news. This person that wrote this article is superb. I love this article. 
that says that why should uh, why Buhari should the reason why Buhari should be impeached immediately this pandemic passes after this pandemic it should be it should be impeached immediately and it's a very nice one um, I agree to what the um, article person I wrote this article says I'm so much I, I so much agree with it this post is just a trap it's not a trap this post is not a trap at all so you need to comment well you need to comment well and say the truth Look at Nami Khan that have always said the truth. Did anything happen to him? No. He has been saying the truth. They said the truth will set you free. When you open up to the world, what your government are doing in the country, then you will be justified. God will, will even be happy with you that you said you're saying the truth. The Bible says you shall say the truth and the, the truth will definitely set you free. We are too much disappointed that the government we voted for cannot take care of us in a period of this pandemic. Aside from gross unemployment and job loses, they can't even take care of us. They can't even, even the 20,000 they promised to send to their account, we did not get. We did not see. Even the food items they said they will, they will share. What did they share? A, a baked, a caked rice, a spoiled rice. Don't they know that anybody that eats such rice would definitely meet himself either in hellfire or heaven? That is the fact. That is the fact. That is it. No good Nigerian, no good governance, no good roads, no good electric system, no good politics. Instead, polit politics, no good this, no good that, and no good anything in Nigeria. Nothing is good about Nigeria. The only good thing found in Nigeria is bad everything. Imagine this. Nobody, everybody voted in. We all voted these people in. Now that we have realized our mistakes, now our eyes is now open. We will no longer sleep. We will always wake up from our sleeps. That is it. Whosoever that is coming in again as the president will be watched. Will be watched and we pray that God will guide us through. And God should bring someone that would that will liberate and bring peace and recover everything Nigerians, Nigeria has lost these few years. You desperately forget, you desperately forget the the treat of President Good Luck Jonathan. In his era, he managed the Ebola outbreak. There was a flood disaster. Can you remember that? That time. That time too. That this President Muhammadu Buhari and APC was controlling the media run by the Yorubas who said that there would be Hungry, but for once Nigeria never remembered anything like flood disaster. Instead, we became economic, we became economic heavyweight of Africa. But this evil press that have continued to deny a good man of his accolades has always denied anything good about um, GEJ. Uh, that is it. So, but the man still stands. They denied him, but he still stands. He stands tall like the uh, cedar of Babylon among the other presidents of this country. A man that single handedly um, built 12 universities and 250 uh, Amajiri schools. He dwarfed all the precedent in terms of results and uh, accomplishments. So, viewers, that is my own opinion. What is your own comment? 
drop down below the comment box click on the subscribe button as well as the bell button to receive updates whenever i publish new videos and don't forget share and like this news as well thank you as you do have a pleasant